Hi everybody, my name is Jason Orlowski. I'm a student at Osaka University and I'm studying mobile and ubiquitous computing. Today I'll be introducing my research topic to you, which is the wearable keyboard you see here, also known as the Torso Keyboard. It's intended to be used with an HMD, which stands for Head Mounted Display. You may already know about Google's Project Glass or Epson's Moverio, which is the HMD that I'm wearing right now. This particular HMD is a little bit bulky, but in the near future, these will hopefully be much smaller, lighter, and look cooler. The good thing about this keyboard is that it allows the user to look straight ahead while typing. It's primarily designed for touch typists, but anybody can learn to use it. Uh, also, the HMD is a see-through type, meaning you can see both objects in front of you as well as the text. And text appears, tra uh, text is transparent, so it appears sort of to be floating in front of you. The idea is that instead of having to continue to look down at a cell phone uh, screen or a cell, phone, a cell phone keyboard, you can look straight ahead and type on a near full QWERTY keyboard. In theory, this is actually safer to use than a cell phone since you can see cars, see people in front of you. Uh, that's what I'm researching here, and uh, those are the types we're, of experiments I'm doing at Osaka University. Next, I'll give you a quick demo of actual typing on the keyboard while standing in Okay, so now I'll give a demonstration of how the keyboard works in a standing situation. So, if you're standing on a bus or, or train, then you can use the keyboard in this manner. And as you can see, the speed is uh, quite fast. Uh, I can probably reach about uh, 45, 50 words per minute on, on it, uh, including while walking. Okay, so I've started uh, walking here on a treadmill at 3.5 kilometers per hour. This is probably your average walking speed. Uh, if you're commuting to work, this is how you would, you would uh, use the wearable keyboard. There you have it. So that's essentially how the keyboard works. And now I'd like to take a little time just to talk briefly about how uh, an HMD system works versus a cell phone device, in particular in regards to safety. Typically, wearable displays are thought to be dangerous since they require the user's attention, but in reality, it's actually very easy to switch from looking at the overlaid text to your media environment. For example, if you're looking at a walk or don't walk, sig walk signal, the text on the HMD will appear to be just below the signal or on the signal, and if the signal turns green, it's, it's really blatantly obvious, and the user notices right away. In contrast, if a person is looking down at a cell phone, then they have to constantly look up to see whether the signal has changed, and it takes longer. The research I'm doing now in the next few, and in the next few months will test reaction times as well as awareness for HMDs versus cell phones in these types of situations. Lastly, in terms of context sensing, it's very difficult for a phone to detect oncoming traffic or per, a person in your path. Since phone cameras are typically not face forward when a person is walking, there are very few detection me mechanisms available. But with the HMD device, cameras or sensors can be mounted on the front and on the sides of the device because uh, you're essentially always looking forward, so the cameras are mounted in the same direction as your face. So let's say a car is approaching from the side, uh, which normally wouldn't be in your peripheral vision. The HMD can display a warning or a beep to let you know something is coming. So, very exciting te technology coming up here in the next year or so, and hopefully you'll get to use it. If you have any questions, my email address is below, and thank you for watching.